What's going on everybody? I'm back again with another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. With our first game in the playoffs, our record on the season was 8-0, so we got the first round bye. Uh, so we're coming in, hopefully winning these next couple games, obviously because we want to win the Super Bowl, but also because I need those season veterans collectibles for Mutt Master really, really bad. Uh, I would love to complete Mutt Master. I have a few of the captain sets done. This is all I need. But into the gameplay, we're starting out on the run with David Johnson, of course. Then our favorite play, the screen pass. We have some room to the outside, but Sean Taylor catches us. And uh, Sean Taylor is going to be the theme of this video. But it may be my Sean Taylor, or it may be the opponent's Sean Taylor. I did pick up Sean Taylor, basically. Look at Martavis Bryant just wrecking his Sean Taylor. I did pick up the... Um, the regular, not basically, but the regular Sean Taylor, 97 overall. And also uh, MVP, uh, Lane Johnson for my team to upgrade my right tackle position. Uh, but here we're rolling out. Looks like Square's not open. And then we reroute him and he still doesn't look open, but Brandon Cooks comes back, gets that. We run the fullback dive. And then on uh, the two yard line, we run DeAnthony Thomas. Strong power, it looks like. And we get into the end zone, taking the seven and nothing lead with one minute left in the first quarter. So we saw his defense didn't look too great. Uh, we did have that one play by Martavis Bryant, but uh, I mean, his defense didn't look the greatest. And then we see that he has a star under his running back, and I believe that is Marshall Falk. And then he also has 88, Mike Irvin. And then we also have Sean Taylor though. Sean Taylor catches him at the three yard line, but it doesn't matter because he goes to the flats. He scores with only 8 seconds left in the first quarter. Only took him 50 seconds to score on us. So not feeling too confident at that point. But I am feeling confident on offense. And did you see DeAnthony Thomas get destroyed there? If you go back, look at number 6. He gets absolutely pummeled by one of his players. And then look at this play by Alan Hearns. Breaking multiple tackles on the sideline. That looks like 3 Cardinals defenders. Then picking up the block and racing down into the end zone that is 76 yards by Alan Hearns in one play three tackles broken insane play that's a 92 overall final edition Alan Hearns uh, he's a great card for me I he's my fourth uh, string wide receiver but he has been a great card so he's back on offense and Martavis Bryant his Martavis Bryant tea bags our uh, defense and uh, so we're looking out for that now we're looking out for him and Mike Irvin as Bruce Irvin comes off the edge and gets the sack and then look at DRC going up and coming down with the ball awesome interception that 90 overall DRC is the real deal I would love to have his team of the week but uh, that's a little out of my price range uh, looks like this guy has some pressure he's been getting in on me a little bit then Martavis Bryant is back at it again running down and he breaks a tackle but he can't break the second tackle uh, he, he got me down to the 16 yard line two minute warning I'm trying to waste some clock he's sending heat my left guard doesn't pick that up at all uh, then we're going back to the screen hopefully we can go outside but we don't we don't get the first down one minute left we kick the field goal we're going up 17 to 7 take the 10 point lead uh, so he has 57 seconds to score or do something stupid and that's what the one that we're hoping for hopefully he does something stupid so he's coming out I see that he likes to see routes but I'm following Mike Irvin deep just in case I'd rather get beat on the C route than get beat by Mike Irvin deep. And he's tossing it up, and Sean Taylor goes up and comes down with the ball. I guess you guys kind of know who's the highlight of the video now. It's my Sean Taylor. He has his first interception of the game. Awesome play, and X was wide open, but I go, and I throw the interception. So it was just enough time for me to do something stupid too. But he's going, and I had that user interception with Ryan Shazier, but I dropped it. And then he's rolling out rolling out of the pocket and then dives with McNabb unfortunately we don't get the animation to where he fumbles or anything like that he's throwing it back up testing Sean Taylor again but Stefan Gilmore breaks up that play and Sean Taylor doesn't uh, catch the ball after that and then DRC lays out to block that this looks like the last play of the half I tackle him and he looks like he's out of bounds but they say that the clock ran off so he can't uh, call a timeout can't do anything can't get a field goal or anything so we're keeping our 10 point lead going into halftime and he's beating me over top I know he's not beating me on the ground but he's beating me over top and then Sean Taylor has something to say about that 
He's rolling outside. He's breaking a tackle. He's spinning. He's run, outrunning players. And then Donovan McNabb catches him with a shoestring tackle all the way down to the 14-yard line. So we're going up at least 20-7 to 7 if we can put a field goal up as long as we don't fumble or anything like that. So we're running out with David Johnson going up by 13. So now it's a two-possession game to where he needs uh, two touchdowns, which is perfect. I'm feeling pretty confident. I know he's thrown two interceptions on offense, even though he's been beating me over top. So I'm hoping that we can catch one more break. And then he's rolling out with uh, Marshall Falk to the flats, going out for the C route again, and he gets it. Martavis Bryant has been killing me all game, and those uh, out, out routes have been killing me all game too. And then it killed me again, but he can't get his feet in bounds. Looks like he uh, rack catched it or something like that. Uh, tip for you guys, if you are on the sideline, you want to possession catch it because you will get an animation sort of like that. Uh, you'll get an animation where your receiver puts both feet in bounds 90, 95% of the time, depending on how good their uh, spectacular catch and stuff like that is. So you want to you wanna hold X on the PS4 or A on the Xbox and get the possession catch. But as I'm talking about that, we go for the rack catch with uh, Brandon Cooks going off to the races and he has some burners. He goes all the way into the end zone. We're up 17 to 10, or we're up by 17, 27 to 10. And he only has less than a minute left in the third quarter. And Sean Taylor is laying the boom. Hopefully one of these times it will cause a fumble. Uh, look at this play. I've never seen that animation where he tries to get up and run again, but uh, Mike Irvin goes like that and then we drop another interception. That's another theme of this video is dropped interceptions, but Aaron Donald comes and sacks his quarterback. Then he's going back to Martavis Bryant, and of course he's getting the first down because what else is Martavis Bryant gonna do? He's been killing me all game. It's not even it's not uh, unexpected. And then he tests my user, and let's just say it was bad. Let's just say I, I messed up. I messed up and he did the right thing. DRC drops another interception. And then he's moving with this Tavon Austin halfback card, which I hate because it's so damn quick. He's going back to the out routes, picks up a gain of two. It's fourth and three. He goes to the flats and gets it three, uh, three yards to go. And then Landon Collins jumps that route, gets me to the five yard line. Then I get absolutely destroyed. And then I move it to the three yard line. And luckily I didn't fumble on that play because he would have actually only been down by 10 with a little over two minutes left to go. So. Uh, nothing is impossible so he probably could have done something with that but I punted off to him he's making some moves with that Tavon Austin uh, two minute warning is approaching he's looking to go deep he goes to the gunslinger or the cocaine cowboy I mean uh, uh, Mike Irvin and then he's going into the end zone because Martavis Bryant hurdles looked like Sean Taylor so I'm only up by 10 he's going for the onside kick and that looks like it's going to be game. I can just kneel the clock out, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, so I'm going to take the W. After I punt the ball off to him and he gets a few more uh, plays in, it looks like one or two will be able if he gets it in bounds, which he does, but he only gets one play. And we're taking the 27-17 to victory, winning our divisional round and getting that season veteran pack, or season, season veteran collectible, I'm sorry, excuse me. Uh, but we are taking the W and that is all for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't and you want some more Madden 16 Ultimate Team content. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.